is up YouTube, we are back! The best stall method in the game is here! A new stall method, we haven't touched it at all this season! I made 100k in 25 minutes today! Of zero effort! It's not mindless, it's not the silver to gold exchange, it's a new stub method. Now all of you who are members already know about this method. Become a YouTube member today for exclusive access, exclusive perks. Join the Discord channel. If you're a member, you're in a private Discord channel. But join the Discord channel and be a public member today. And also subscribe, show some support. Because today I'm going to make you rich. Now you see that I have 630k. Let us not be deceived. I have 2 million worth of the boss cards from season 2. They're everywhere. Uh, so let's just say I'm doing all right. Not if you've seen the last pack opening though. <laughs> but today, tons and tons of stubs are at your fingertips waiting to be made. Here is the method. So basically, it's flipping these cards. You come in here into the marketplace and just stay on all these 99s. And there's a bunch of stubs to be made. I'm gonna tell you how. You can, look, you can look at a guy like Dave Parker, for instance. You wanna have the MLB The Show companion app up with you as well. It'll make your life a little bit easier. Look at Dave Parker right here. His buy now is fifth, is basically 49K. His buy now is 48,999. And his sell now is 38,001. So if I was to buy him right now, I would come in here and put a buy order in on the app, not on here, for 38,002 stubs, right? And then once I buy him for 38,000 stubs, i come in here and put one in for one less than the current buy now, and I would sell them for 44,000. That's a 6,000 stub profit just every time you do two orders right there. You buy them once and you sell them once, you make a 6,000 stub profit. Now, are you gonna get an undercut for a guy like this? That's where the app comes in. You pull up the Animal Show companion app, you can't do it on here, it has to be on the app, and you can pull up Dave Parker, and you can go to completed orders. It looks like there's a bit, it looks like there's a, there's a completed order for Dave Parker about once every four, about once every three or four minutes, somebody buys or sells Dave Parker. So there's a pretty high chance you get undercut or overcut depending on the order. So Dave Parker might be a guy that for a 6,000 stub profit, you can try it. You can try coming in here and putting in, let me see if I can, let me see if, by the end of this video, let's see if Dave Parker goes through. It probably won't, I expect to get undercut, but who knows, maybe it'll get lucky. But basically something I wanted to point out about the app was the completed order thing is very helpful. Dave Parker, only one of them is bought or sold every four or so minutes. So that's not a very highly traded card. Sandy Alcantara, Alcantara. if you have the stubs, you can see this is a good flip as well. 57, 260 it looks like, you would put in that order right there. And then if you were to sell them for 67, 4, 3, 3, you'd make about 3,000 stubs. Now when you're risking 60,000 stubs to buy him, 3,000 isn't really the margins you wanna find. David Justice. Now I don't even know, let's check the app. Are people still even buying these set one cards? That's where you can look at the completed orders. Completed orders, yeah. It, there's basically been, in the last 45 minutes, there's only been like eight or so of him bought or sold. So you can try flipping this because it does have good margins. You would come in here, you'd sell it for 31, holy, 31, this is what I need to be on the app, bro. 31, 797, you'd make 4,000 stubs. Not a very highly traded card. So you want to look at the completed orders on these guys and find people who are highly traded. I'm talking about at least once per minute and you can easily have the flipping come there. Let's look at a guy like Brandon Crawford. What do I really, I don't even know if I can. Am I supposed to type DJ BC in my app? All right, there he is. Complete orders. Brandon Crawford in the last 25 minutes has 12 completed orders. So you can see he's highly traded. This is the type of guy you'd buy him for 41,001. You come in here, you sell him for 50K. You make a 4,000 stuff profit right there. So we're gonna talk about the actual method in a second. Uh, like the general overview of what you have to do. I'm just trying to give you guys uh, some tips and advice on what card to do this on. Tory Hunter obviously has the margins. Even Devin Williams, you're making a 2,000 stub profit, 2,500, 3,000 stub profit um, for low risk. These boss cards typically have good flip uh, margins right there. 
I'd probably stick with set two cards and try finding the guys that are most highly traded. Jordan Alvarez. Jordan Alvarez has insane flip value right here. Um, Jordan Walker is set one. Maybe I should just go to set three. Let's just filter the set three just so we can uh, see things a little bit neater and better here. And you really just scroll through and look for margins. This guy is a really good flip opportunity and he's traded in pretty high volume, I think. Let me pull up, let me pull him up on the app. I know it's gonna auto-correct Elias, Elias, I don't know. He has, in the last four minutes, no, in the last two minutes, he's been bought or sold four times. So every 30 seconds, he's bought or sold in the last couple minutes, right? So that means you're not really gonna get undercut because somebody is gonna come in here and buy this from you. So you come in here and put an order in for that. You probably will get undercut once or twice. But I mean, he's being sold pretty quick. This Dave Parker, I doubt it's gonna be sold because it's a set one card. But Elias, Elias Diaz, let's look at my completed orders. Because I did this method today. Uh, now that you guys have a bit of an overview of what it is, you can come in here and look at what I actually bought or sold. Uh, these are some investments. Starting around here, I bought Elias Diaz for 46.1K. And then right after, I sold him for 55K. So that's a 5,000 stub flip. I did it three or four times. That's 15K over the span of seven minutes, just from that one card. Now I did this for a bunch of guys. Prince Fielder, you can see. Prince Fielder bought for 20.7, sold for 27. Gavin Lux, 14.4, sold for 19. A bunch of these guys you can do it on. The Honus Wagner, the Flying Dutchman is here. And he's, he's bought for 24, sold for 32. Lots and lots of stubs to be made on these flip opportunities for these 99 overalls. Michael Brantley is another one. I sold him for about 40K. I gotta look for Dr. Smooth now, bro. Dr. Smooth, where are you? I don't know where he is, bro. I bought, there he is. I don't know. Look, look at all these flips though. The flip opportunities are insane. Um, and that's really all you gotta look for. So, a did I get this one yet? Holy overcut. Yeah, so he's a very uh, actively traded card. So you gotta be aware of that. But basically, you target the guys that have the good margins. That's number one. Brief overview of the method. Mike Cameron's a good card, by the way, too. Camilo Duvall is a good card to do this on. Um, let me just give you a couple more other ones real quick. No, I don't like any of these guys. This one looks like it has good margins. And again, these margins will change. This one's near quick sell, so even the 2,000 stubs you'll make might not be awful. But yeah, you can pretty easily find if it has good margins. That one looks all right. It doesn't have to be 99 too. This, this might work on other ones as well. If these are more highly trade, uh, traded, let's see if anyone's buying a 97 overall. Josiah Gray real fast. Let's see, completed. Yeah, not really. Not that many people want 97 overall, shocker. Uh, SDS, hopefully you're listening. But that's a, so, okay. You find people that have the good foot, the margins, then what? Well, since it's it's kind of a weird environment in the marketplace right now because of the stub sell. So I would not recommend putting in a bunch of orders at once. I would not recommend putting in like more than five orders on any of these cards. I would really come in and put in two. I'd put in maybe two or three orders on some of these guys. I'd honestly put in two. I would come in here and put in two orders for a guy like Elias Diaz, put in two buy orders, and then find the next guy that has good margins. Put in two buy orders for him, then keep going. Put in two, maybe maybe the margins here aren't as good, put in one buy order, and just keep track of who you have orders in for. And then once those start going through, you can go to the, your completed orders, you'll see, okay, I just, I just got a completed order, I bought Eric Davis for 21.1, monitor that go to go find Eric Davis uh, which I think he's a set two card um, so you would go to him and you would just put in a sell order and you basically you let the orders flow in and you can if you get undercut you're only putting in one or two orders it's not hard to cancel them at all on the app so it's a really simple method you monitor your buy orders being completed you go in and put in sell orders and anything that if you wait like an hour you can come in here look at my active orders I got these active buy orders, I'll cancel those. And I got these sell orders, this other stuff. On this is, I sold some boss cards off. Um, but even the sell orders, you could, then, you could then cancel in theory, come back in and put in new ones. So it's a really reliable, good method to make a lot of stubs fast. 
a lot, a lot of stubs. And the flip margins will usually always be there, especially 3,000 to 4,000 stub flips. So that's the video. I hope it helps. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, become a YouTube member today. And thanks for watching.